Assalamu alaikum. If you search across the internet for the greatest war general of history, names like Napoleon and Alexander the Great come up. And if you search for who won the most battles in history, people think that Napoleon was the one. According to archives, he had 43 recorded battles and won 38 of them while losing 5. That gives him win to loss ratio of 88.37%. Though impressive, but extremely incorrect. There is one name that white historians don't want to acknowledge. That is the name of Khalid bin Walid. It is in engraved on his tombstone that he won over 50 major battles without losing one. He won a collective of more than 100 battles throughout his lifetime. He never lost a single battle in his life. That gives him a win to loss ratio of 100% which completely leaves the likes of Napoleon the Short and Alexander the Greedy in dust. I thought to myself, why not prove my metal as well, though through a different medium. Just like one day I thought why not become a YouTuber. Two people will watch my videos, three people will subscribe to me. One one person will call me awful and 10 people will hate me. This is Feud, a better simulator. The objective of this game is to win. After going through the tutorial, I jumped straight into a hard game against Chaos. Appear weak when you are strong and strong when you are weak. I think it was from Pirates of Caribbean. The game is about keeping your pieces connected while either taking down the enemy king or disconnecting enemy's pieces. The enemy started by making my knight useless while sacrificing its own wizard, the most useless piece on the board. I further disconnected its wizard while making up my knight and hit his sleeping wizard in his head. The enemy switched its magic and archer and hit my knight again. I must appear weak as I am the strongest. I brought I my healer to the front lines and in enemy's line of sight in order to heal my injured armada. Then I switched to my archer and wizard with each other as Sun Tzu once said, the wise warrior avoids battle. I don't know what that means. My enemy switched his archer and killed my knight. I must avenge him. Then my archer was also taken down. The enemy was unexpectedly stronger than me. I was concerned and was left with no more moves to play except to swap my medic and king. The enemy medic woke up his fellow knight who had a blade on my neck. My medic was killed. My king was disabled and I lost the war. You have to believe in yourself, Sun Tzu. I must believe in order to win. After multiple losses, I learned the key to victory. I disabled his knight and went down offensive. The battle was long and intense. I was slowly losing my armada. After using my king to distract the enemy, I had his king on 1 HP. It was a matter of shooting an arrow in his heel. I made the victory move by using my king to gain advantage over him while my archer shot his king down. But my thirst for victory was still not quenched. Quickness is the essence of war, Sun Tzu. How can I prove my quickness? Oh yeah, contested territory. The plan is to play races and win. First race, let's go. Usually I start with a 200 boomer into a glaive ricochet. The next step is to go for a wall of fire incinerating balloons. Then I brought Druid of the Jungle along who uses wood to give splinters to the balloons. Then I started producing spikes and got the Moab Shredder upgrade, which shreds big balloons. Then I sent every single round in order to finish the balloons as soon as possible and got the time of 4 minutes and 30 seconds, making me the winner. After that I won another race, and another one, and another one. I believe I have made my point. I am the essence of weakness. Victory usually goes to the enemy who has better trained officers than men, Sun Tzu. In order to prove the better training of my officers, I joined Speedy Bonanza with fire. The map was Bluntonium Mines and I chose Agent Jericho as my hero. On the other hand, my opponent brought a tank. For my strategy, I chose Super Ice and Village, the best strategy in the game. Normally people use Aziri with this strategy but not me, as I always have a plan. I started with two ices on the intersection and placed my hero down. I got an ice shot as it it is absolutely broken. I placed a village to not only buff my towers but also make things cheaper. The next step on the agenda was to go for the super monkey, which will eventually be turned into God. Slowly but surely I was building sacrifices to please God as he is a greedy bastard. After making sure that I had max sacrifices, I got the temple. After making enough money, I bought God to defend my side. I started filling my side with super monkeys as they will eventually be turned into Batman. After hosting the Batman convention, it was time to start sending a rush. I paired that with my trump card, Jericho's ability to distract the enemy. 
if you are unaware he sends a moab to enemy which can't be popped and every tower will target that letting my rush go through while i was easily defending his side was completely covered in chaos and then the server of new zealand army died somehow that server still runs on technology from cayman era i waited forever and ever for the servers to come online again three days later it was a beautiful sight things were pushing on his side my batman were better trained while i was defending with ease he was close to leaking it did take forever but eventually he leaked float like a butterfly sting like a bee muhammad ali how can i prove this what about hunting chickens in space yes you heard that right after going through the tutorial i started the hunt my goal was simple kill the chickens who have infested the space i was controlling a small plane shooting chicken in space there is a boss at the end of every level i defeated wave after wave ate average american obese diet and plowed through everything it was time for the first boss it was a big chicken all i did was shoot bullets at it it died before you could get a microwave to mcdonald's burger it would be fair to say that i stung him like a bee but an average american household has more chicken nuggets than the amount of chicken i killed in space i cleared a lot more waves on the next level survived as tries just to reach the next boss the next boss i had to fight was a giant tank it would be safe to say that the egg should have been saved in the container i had to play soccer for luck's sake the boss after that was feeling cold so i acted like a true american and took its clothes off just like in vietnam and iraq be silent but deadly i think it was Johnny English. The only thing I know that is silent but deadly is my fart after a night out with my friends. Do I have to prove that I am a fart? I am going to let a lake hunting reserve in order to calm my mind and prove my deadliness by hunting some wild animals. After walking in a random direction, I found a deer. Its ass was towards me. After setting up for a headshot, I took aim and fired, but it did not die. Instead, it ran away. How? A bullet to hell should take you down, I said. I started following its tracks. I saw blood. According to game, the bleeding rate was low. And here I was thinking a shot to the head kills you. I followed the trail for miles. What I found instead was a moose. I thought I might be able to take the walking armor giant down. I slowly made my way closer to the walking wall. I got my sniper, scoped in, took a deep breath, and bang. Once again, I thought it was a headshot. And once again, I followed and followed and followed. They say that the reserve of Little Lake is haunted to this day. Some say that there is a ghost still wandering around following a trail. Voices of injured animals can still be heard. Some believe that he is looking for help. Some say that it's out for vengeance. But what is the reality? We will never know.